Hi folks, Dr. Ed Beyer again. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most common causes of underactive thyroid that I see in females that are in their 30s and 40s, and it's the usage of birth control pills. If they've been on the birth control pill for maybe longer than a year, this probably, what I'm going to explain to you, has happened, and it causes low thyroid. Birth control pills cause low thyroid. Folks, we tend to believe that the birth control pill is this benign thing that, that, that you can take, that females can take, and it doesn't cause any problems at all. There's no repercussions to it. That is not true. That's a big myth that you need to understand. Birth control pills have serious consequences. Now, I understand it's your right to choose what form of uh, contraception you want to use, and, that's, and we work with patients, and we don't make them go off, but you need to understand the consequences. The consequences of birth control pills is that you're going to have lower amounts of progesterone in your body. And I'm going to explain why in a minute. And when you have lower amounts of progesterone, you're going to become what's called estrogen dominant. Now, estrogen is a very important hormone, and, it, and you really should have about, a, a, a female should have about 25 times more progesterone over the course of your cycle versus estrogen. It protects you from the bad effects of estrogen, like cancers and low thyroid. So what happens is this, when you ovulate, what happens in, in, a, in a woman's cycle, ovulation causes the follicle to become something known as the corpus luteum. Let me explain. The first 14 days of your cycle are what we call the follicular phase. The follicle in your ovary is being developed, and so is the ovum or the egg. Right around day 14, you get a surge of a hormone from your brain that causes the egg to come out of the follicle and go into the fallopian tube looking for sperm for, for uh, pregnancy. Now, once the follicle erupts the egg, it turns into something called a corpus luteum. This corpus luteum now is what produces tons of progesterone. The corpus luteum produces progesterone because it's under the assumption that you're going to get pregnant. And progesterone, progestation, does exactly what the name says. It's all about uh, pregnancy. It's all about gestation. It's preparing the uterus for uh, implantation. Progesterone, progestis, progestation. Now, of course, eventually, most times that doesn't happen, and the brain picks up on that, and then everything sloughs off in the endometrium, and you're not pregnant, and the cycle starts over. But when you are on the birth control pill, you do not ovulate, and you do not form a corpus luteum, and you do not get large amounts of progesterone production in the luteal or second half of your cycle. And so that's a problem because now you become estrogen dominant. And that, a whole other topic off of that are so many of the breast cancers, uterine cancers, and ovarian cancers are estrogen fed. You don't have enough progesterone to protect you against estrogen. And we wonder why cancer is on the rise so much. This is one of the many reasons. But getting back to the thyroid, what low progesterone or estrogen dominance does in relation to the thyroid, it decreases your body's ability to convert the inactive form of T4 over to the active form of T3 thyroid hormone. It also increases the thyroid binding globulins, TBG, thyroid binding globulins. These are the little taxi cabs that carry around your thyroid hormone, and you, then you don't have enough free T3. It is the free T3, the T3 that's not in bound to a protein that is the active form of the thyroid hormone. It goes into your cells and tells your DNA to make new proteins so you have proper metabolism and enzymes. So this is what happens when you're on the birth control pill. And I see that a lot, and there's other consequences too. I'm Dr. Ed Beyer. I hope that helps. Have a great day.